Hey guys, welcome back to the Tiny Lab Build site. I'm putting in the floor today, and I wanted to show you before I cover it up something very special. A lot of people have been questioning our uh, decision to use tape for air sealing and for weather barriers because they're saying that caulk is better or I have a flexible sealant that goes on or what about spray foam? I just want to show you uh, what makes this tape so special. I put tape on the floor at the very beginning of this process before we had the roof on and the walls up and all that stuff to protect against water intrusion and to make sure that nothing got into my floor cavity which is insulated with rigid foam. Uh, now no matter what it's insulated with, I want to make sure to air seal it, and I want to make sure that no water gets in there. So that was why I did that. Now this stuff has been there for three months, and not only uh, is it rated for a hundred years of air tightness, I can also guarantee that it is rated for three months of knocking the crap out of it. We have been walking all up and down this. I've been dragging the shower across this uh, trailer over and over and over. We've been building walls in here. We've been having all kinds of stuff going on. So this activity has created a pretty beat up set of tapes. But no matter how beat up it is, you will notice that there are no holes in my tape. Uh, there are some places where it's starting to peel away, but you can notice that it is actually still intact. This is how we know that this stuff can stand up to all kinds of weathering and stay airtight. I'll see you when the floor is done. I hope that you subscribe to our channel. I hope that you comment below if you have anything to say about tape in your experience. Uh, and I hope that you try it out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Tune in next time.